Um, so we are in the uh, hub by Premier Inn, not far from the theatre, about a 10 minute walk, just off of Soho. Perfect positioning for us. Give you a quick show of the rooms. You've got the bathroom, the shower, toilet, basin. It's all handheld this and no microphone each. So take what you got. So nice looking shower. And then nice double bed. The air conditioning is already set for 19 degrees. Not a little bed, it's gonna feel huge after our pads. Yes, it is, after our van bed where we just squeezed against each other. Sort of wardrobe, that's quite funny. Got a mirror, there's no electric doors on it. And then TV, uh, no windows. I don't suppose there's any outside around here, but it doesn't matter. What's that through there? I think one of the joining door. Yeah, so that's the room, nothing spectacular. Um, I water really expensive, really, for one night, 173 pounds, because it's not a grand. I mean, it's a very nice hotel, but it's not super grand, is it? There you go, 173 quid. Money in the hotel business. Let's spend the night together. Yeah, that's good. Just around the corner of my hotel, the hub premier in Soho, it's a place called Bar Bruno, which is a cafeteria. Anyway, we were here yesterday, food was really good, so we're just about to go off and do our today's adventure in. Uh, but first, I'm going to have a full Bruno's big breakfast. So then, my mom. This is my breakfast. Bar oh, Bruno. So, a proper English breakfast. Thank you. Well, Crafty Nanas food just arrived as well. This Crafty Nanas doesn't look as good as mine. It's way too healthy. This is mine. Oh, it's actually really happy. Two fucked eggs, two hash browns, one blood pudding, one bubbling squeak, one load of mushrooms, one big juicy sausage, three rashes of bacon, six tons of baked beans. Proper, proper English breakfast. Bar Bruno in Soho. That's the breakfast. Now we're going to eat it. So, quick look around Bruno's. I need some place. Bar Bruno's. A lovely selection of um, sandwiches and paninis and stuff. And then you've got where well, the action happens. Obviously, it's the kitchen at the back. And then, I guess, the, the customers. As my wife just said, just a lot of these customers are just the normal working people. You know, this is uh, some fashion place. This is a huge place. They know all my set of goods coming in, seemingly very popular with the local people. But on the way, it's very good food. I'm ashamed to say that the breakfast has beaten me, and quite comprehensively beaten me. I've got probably a full rasher of bacon, half a, half a blood pudding, half an egg, well, an egg, a load of beans. <sighs> My eyes are just too big for this little belly of mine. I feel it was delicious, but can't do any more. Really good. London is giving me real Truman Show vibes. It just feels like I'm walking around a film set. Everything is so clean. There's like millions of people around, even though it's early in the morning and, oh, it's actually 11.30 now. Um, but it's just millions of people around. Everything is really clean. These streets are, couldn't be cleaner if they tried. And every language you hear being spoken just past the, been passed by a hen party of full of uh, Italian ladies. So everybody is here in London. The fashions are amazing. Some of them, some of them are terrible. Usually me. Um, but we're just heading off now towards Covent Garden. Crafty Nanda's with me, of course. It's just amazing. It's just, and I've been feeling like this for the last day, yesterday and today. It just doesn't feel real, but in a good way. <laughs> So handheld, no microphone, sorry, we are in Palace Theatre and we're going to go and see Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. 
We are right up in the top. That's the stage right the way down there. We are what they call in the gods. Poor crafty Nana, there's no leg room either. Her legs are tightly squeezed in. And uh, that's our lot for now. So, so I just thought I would show you, when they say restricted view and limited leg room, um, my view, I cannot actually see the, the, the um, stage. If I sit looking forward to what we're doing now, that is a wall. And that is a wall. I have to lean like this. That white dot at the bottom, that's the stage. It's sort of a clock on the stage. So I sit normally, nothing. Luckily, my wife is next to me, so I'm leaning into her. It's not quite as bad as annoying some stranger. But you know, this is unfortunately what you've got to do. It's the only seats available. And we had the limited dates when we could be here, and these are the only seats available on those dates. So you've got to take what you've got to get and make the best of it. And we're going to have a damn good time. Of that, you can be sure. Um, my wife's much more of a potter person than I am, but because of her, I'm getting much more into it. So we've done part one of the pottering. I'll be honest, I fell asleep a few times. My wife had to nudge me awake, but it's not as much my thing as it is hers. Brilliantly done, though. There's certain bits where you're like, how the hell did they do that? Really good. The crowd loved it. They went lots of applause at the end. Uh, we've got part two to go back to in a couple of hours. Now 7pm, come up 6.30, come up to 7, ready for part 2 of Harry Potter and the Cursed Child. What a stunning theatre to have it in. All the people are queuing up ready to go. Okay, we're ready for part 2 and, you know, that little bit closer, this is... We sat before at the top there. And this is where we're sitting now, so we've got a very good <coughs> 4 metres lower, I would say. So a different view, different angle. Just a matter of how many times I fall asleep. My wife's been watching avidly, I've been falling asleep. These seats are really uncomfortable though, so sleep's almost like the best thing for me. Oh, 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 oh.